Well, hello, today we're going to change the rear brake cable on your scooter. And in this video, I will show you how. Well, hello and welcome to my video. Today we're going to change the rear brake cable for your scooter. This one, sometimes, unfortunately, they break down. Unfortunately, after a while, all the lubrication that is inside is gone. So after a while, if you leave your scooter outside this, brake cable maybe it's gonna snap on you or maybe it's not going to work anymore or maybe it's not going to be efficient like it used to be so i will change this cable and it's going to be easy to change you only remove few things like unfortunately in the front you have to remove the nose part of your scooter right here and the mirror to open up this part right here and work right here with the, the brake level right here so it's going to be easy. It's going to take maybe like 20 to 30 minutes to change it. And it's going to be very easy to do it. So this one will make sure that you're going to be safe in your scooter. You so we're going to start right here to remove the front part of your scooter. We only have to remove the two mirrors. We have to remove a lower screw right here. There is a really long screw down here in the lower part of the nose of your scooter. The two bolt there right here there is two bolt on the mirror there you're going to need an allen wrench number six after that you're going to remove a little few things right here on this side and on this side there's two covers that you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver okay make sure you don't break anything because everything is made of plastic okay after you remove this part right here I will show you how to change this cable right here in just few seconds the first thing we're going to remove is a long screw that is down here underneath the nose of your scooter. Right here, you're going to need a long Phillips screwdriver, okay, to remove this one. So after you unscrew this one, make sure you grab this long screw with your finger like that. Because uh, unfortunately this screw can go inside the frame of your scooter or inside the body of your scooter and it's going to be really hard to find this screw later. See, this one is a really long screw that is down here of the nose of your scooter, right here. Right after you remove the long screw that is down here, we're going to remove the two little side covers right here so we are able to move this part right here after you remove the mirrors, okay? So, let's remove the little two parts, one right here and one on the other side. Those are two little covers. We have one little cover right here and to remove this one, you're only going to need a Phillips screwdriver, okay? One right here, and then down here you have another screw. Okay. See, if you look at those screws, the one that goes underneath is longer than is the one that is on the side. So you don't want, you want to make sure you don't mix them, okay? Right after you remove this one, you're able to go on the other side and you can remove the other cover from the other side. Also in this side right here, you want to make sure you remove one screw at a time right here. Start to fresh from the top right here. Okay. Make sure you don't lose these screws. The one underneath, there is another screw underneath that. The one underneath is longer. Don't forget the one underneath is longer and the one on the top is shorter, okay? Don't mix them because if you mix them at that point, you're going to have a problem. You might break the plastic, okay? Okay, right after you unscrew right here, you're able to remove this little part right here, the little cover. Okay, right after we remove these little two pieces right here, we are able to unscrew the mirror. Okay, to remove this uh, bolt right here, you're going to need an Allen wrench that is number six, okay? So just be gentle with these bolts, because sometimes they get damaged when you put too much pressure, okay? So if you can, when you have time, change these bolts to a stainless steel ones. So if you change them, they are a lot better quality. And sometimes if you have to remove this part, you're not going to have too much problems, okay? Now, take your time to remove these bolts right here. 
Now when you feel that it's coming almost at the end of the threading, wait, unscrew the other one too a little bit, okay? <clears throat> now before you unscrew these two bolts all the way, we need to remove four screw that they are on the driver's side of your scooter. Right here where is the gauge, there is four screw. One, two, three, four. Two on the top, two on the bottom, okay? So we can remove this part right here because at this moment this part will not come out because there is four screw on the other side holding up to the nose, okay? Okay, on this side right here we have one, two, three, and four screw, okay? So start from the top. And for need this one, you need the Phillips screwdriver, okay? Make sure you don't lose the screws because they're very important. And the one on the top, uh, they're slightly smaller than the one on the bottom, okay? You have done one down here and one on the other side. Okay, right after you remove the screws right here, this part right here is kind of free, okay? But don't pull this part out, okay? Leave this part alone. You only remove the screw to let the front part go away, release the front part, but not the back part, okay? Okay, right after you remove all the screws right here, you're able to remove the two bolts uh, right here, the mirror. So we're gonna go in the front, I'm gonna show you how to remove this bolt and what to do with the mirror. At this point, let's place something in the front part of your scooter to make sure you're not going to damage your scooter when you're going to remove the nose of your scooter, right here. So, we're going to unscrew the bolt that right here on the mirror. Okay, let's do one at a time. Make sure they're coming nice and gently, okay? Try to hold one and the other one okay now the problem is like there is wire connected to this little mirror make sure you don't pull it too much if you pull it too much you're going to disconnect the wires and you're going to have a larger problem because this color of the wire they're kind of confusing so you will have to test it later before you're gonna put back the mirrors okay so let's keep unscrewing these ones right after you unscrew all the way Make sure you hold in them, okay? And you fold in them a little bit. So you can hold them with one hand, okay? At this point, you can remove the nose right here. And you can place this mirror inside, okay? Now let this part hang down a little bit, okay? Now you have something to cover your scooter right in the front. At this point, you're able to see your rear brake right here, the cable and everything, okay? So, now when you're around here, also look around if you see any leaks from the cable of the brakes, front brake, if you see anything that is broken, if you see any cable that is connected, use your eyes. When you are inside here, try to look around before you have a problem later. Okay, it's always good to look around. Now, right here, you're going to see the brake. So at this point right here, I want to remove right here, there's a little part, the lever, and this part right here, because later I would like to put some grease, uh, something to make sure this part is going to move nice and smoothly. So you're going to need, uh, this one is a eight millimeter, and this one is a eight millimeter. So you need to have two of this one, like one from the bottom to stop this one from turning, Okay, and one on the top. So, right here, you want to unscrew this part right here, this bolt and the nut down here. Take your time, do not rush yourself. You want to do a little bit at a time, okay? Be gentle with the scooters. Now make sure this one comes nice and freely, okay? But make sure, little by little, you're going to get this bolt out and don't lose it. And this is the bolt that is right there. Just little by little, try to get this one out. Right after that, you can remove this part right here. And you can pull this part right here. And go forward, okay? 
so you can remove the front part of the brake cable okay right here we have the front part of the grape cable right here right here we have a sensor right here that you know it let your brake light go through in the back this is the sensor right here plus this sensor right here will help you when you want to turn your scooter on it's going to release the little switch right here and it's going to make sure that you can turn your scooter on it's very important right here this little brake right here little switch is very important and it's made of plastic and it's not really a good plastic <laughs> okay right after you remove this one remove this one right there just pull it out okay right here now let's leave this one right here for now what we're gonna do we're going to do in the back and we're gonna do some work in the back so we can pass the cable through okay okay next we're going to remove this large nut that you have at your brake cable okay now with your left hand push this arm forward so you're going to have a little more space to remove this nut this is the nut that, that you have at your brake cable don't throw this one away because this one you might need a little too okay right here we're going to remove this hand of the cable right here and we're going to remove this little barrel right here this is a barrel spacer that you have at your prayer brake cable okay let's remove the spring right here this is a long spring that you have on the rear side of your brake cable okay we're going to remove this back part right here from here just pull back okay so you're going to remove this brake cable okay right here make sure you pull this part right here away right here you have the long connection right here of the brake cable this one is the the screw part of the brake cable right here that's where you get your tension that's where you pull the cable okay so this one is the rear side you see many times they're pretty good cables if you look inside these cables they're pretty good but after a long time they get rusty and they need to be changed before they break on you you know if they break on you when you're trying to break uh, and you are in a dangerous area <laughs> that you have to break uh, you need the immediate assistance of the brake you're going to have a problem so you make sure that these cables they always look perfect on you okay okay right after you remove this one well, I'm going to show you a trick after you release this cable right here we're going to get the new cable okay right here we have the top part of the cable this part right here is the part that goes uh, and the front part where is your level okay right here so what we're gonna do we're going to grab this part right here and we're gonna put them together like that okay and we're gonna take some electrical tape this electrical tape and we're gonna put it all around here okay be generous be generous okay with this tape tape doesn't cost much if you go to the dollar store it's really cheap they give you three for a dollar so don't be cheap on this tape put as much as you can so this cable is not going to release from the other cable in the middle of the body of your scooter so if he's going to release himself and detach from the other one then you have to open all the body parts of your scooter and try to find where is this cable okay so try to be as much generous as you can and you want to make this cable nice and flat because you don't want this cable to get connected to anything okay when it's inside there because it might pull a wire they doesn't have to pull so if your screw it might not work later because this wire when it went through it damaged something else uh, it's not a good thing okay so let's try to put as much tape as we can right here make it perfect okay I understand later will take you a little time to take this tape off but it's okay you know 
you have to take time make the job right okay so make this one right put enough tape as you can okay at this point when you're done this one and you're really satisfied of the job that you did right here and the job that you did that looks pretty good you can break this part of the electrical tape and now now what we're gonna do we're going to go in the front part of your scooter and we're gonna pull this cable from the old one so we're going to have this cable going inside okay now be careful if you feel kind of like a resistance don't pull too hard you don't want to break anything else okay so you want to make sure that everything is safe you don't want to pull any wires okay try to make this cable long and straight going in the rear side of your scooter okay trying to go straight very important see try to put this cable nice and straight so it's not going to have any resistance to go inside the body of your scooter now we're going to go to the front part of your scooter and we're going to pull this cable in okay from right here from the top part of the scooter start to pull the cable okay so little by little you're going to feel this cable coming okay if it doesn't come too much just pull a little bit back and you pull a little bit forward if it doesn't come the right way try to pull little by little try to pull this cable and you're going to get the cable from the back to the front okay so gently you're going to pull this cable gently and right here little by little you're going to see the new cable coming up right here right after you pass the cable you're ready right here you can remove this electrical tape that you just place right here between the two cables so you can release them okay gently without cutting any rubber or without cutting your fingers you should remove this electrical tape right here we have the two cables one in one side that's the new cable and the other one on the other side that's the old cable so the only thing is really easy you just connect the two cable at the end and you pull the old one from the front so after you pull the cable from the front right here you're able to put this one right here, the long screw, you can put it right here. And inside the long screw right behind you, behind the spring, you should put the little spring of the brake cable right here. Right here, on this side, okay? And on this side, you wanna go to put, pull this spring inside Okay, right here you want to press this spring as much as you can and you can put the little barrel right here in the rear side and with your hand you're gonna push this part right here okay and you're gonna put the nut right here in the rear side okay later you're gonna adjust this one a little more tighter but I'm gonna put a, a link right up here so for the other video that I have so you can see how to tie this one how to regulate your rear brake okay how to adjust it okay at this point when you're done this one in the back you can go back in the front and we're going to connect the front part okay this is very important to connect the front part okay right after you fix the back side of the scooter right here we have the little cable coming from the back this one is the rear brake cable and the little barrel is right here right here we have the level so what I really want to do I really like to put some slight little, little bit of grease right here okay and a little bit of grease over here okay this one will help uh, the little pulling motion that you have with your uh, level right here so you want to make sure that this part right here is going to be nice and have a little grease and be happy okay okay right after you do that you place this one right here inside okay like that okay and this one goes right here okay 
Now this part right here has to go inside right here. On this side, on this side right here, like the brass color part has to be on this part right here. At this point, you can place the little bolt on the top. Make sure you look in the hole right here. You want to make sure that this bolt goes straight through. Okay, this one is an eight millimeter. Okay. Really want to make sure that you tie this one nicely. And underneath we have a nut, okay? Underneath we have a little baby nut right here. That's for the underneath part. And you have a little bit of washer, little washer underneath that you're gonna put. But make sure first you're gonna screw the bolt as much as you can so you can tie the nut underneath, okay? But not too tight because if you put if you really screw it in too tight at that point it's going to squeeze too much the brake level here here and the brake level is not going to come back too much now after you do this one what you should do you should adjust you know the tension that you really want to have on your brake from the back side and I'm gonna put a link up here so you can go and check this video that I have how to adjust your rear brake in the back and at that time you can adjust all the pressure that you want you don't really want to have this one touching your handlebar the level you don't want to touch it so you want to have enough pressure to pull a brake halfway your scooter should be stopping okay when this level touch halfway your scooter should be stopping after that place this one straight make sure this one is nice and tight okay right after you put the cable and everything looks pretty good you're ready to put everything together but make sure before you put everything together to adjust your brake okay you want to make sure you adjust your brake as much as you can then later you put the back all the plastic all the mirror all the screw that you have to put back on it and you go and test your scooter don't go on the street right away to test your scooter and go on the traffic test your scooter and then adjust the brakes again you want to make sure your scooter it breaks at the perfect time okay at the perfect pressure and you're going to stop in the right time okay so you want to make sure you are really safe on the street okay at this point uh, we just changed the cable on your scooter the rear cable okay be careful because uh, a lot of these scooters they have different size cable this one is a 77.5 but doesn't mean that my scooter has your size some scooters they have an 84 inches long cable from the rear side scooter okay so there is 74 there is 73 there is 77 there is 84 so before you change the brake cable, remove the cable that you have, take a measurement, and then you put a new cable. That is always the perfect way. But you can try to get an 84 that is safer and is slightly longer. At that point, your scooter will work perfectly, okay? And you're not going to have any problem. For a GY 650cc, it's always better to have an 84 inches, okay? A 77.5 is slightly too tight for a GY6 scooter. So pay attention to that. At this time, I'd like to thank you very much for watching my video. Click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and thank you.